Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Sovereignty of Scotland. So guys, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be... This is a... The next couple of episodes are going to be like recovery episodes as we slowly try to get ourselves back into the game after we... Uh, well, let's just put it like this. We may have won the war, but the battle is not over. I mean, we still have to core two provinces, which... Right now, we don't have the best of military, so if they were to spawn any type of army, we could potentially die. Um, we also have to spawn two other provinces. Then, what we have to do is we have to re repay our massive amounts of loans. And, potentially after that, we have to fight England again to protect our land from their tyranny. So, yeah, we're not out of the woods yet, but I can at least safely say that we beat England at least one war. So, instead of us being vastly outnumbered by the English, we are now just slightly outnumbered by the English. Which is, I think, a slightly better way to view the world instead of being completely outnumbered. So, we're going to continue on with our game. Uh, loans are imperatively due. I don't really have much to really counteract them because literally... Oh, wow. One revolt is all we need, people. Okay, transfer of power. Oh, wow. Okay, uh... Uh... We pay that just a little bit? Hmm. Hmm. We're in a very... Like I said, people, we are in a very, 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 like... Sketchy situation. One revolt will kill us. Just one of these English patriots could destroy our entire army, ruin our entire progress, Everything would be done now. We are bankrupt. Wait, what the heck? That was not supposed to happen. Okay, though. We are bankrupt, everyone. That means... Yay! Our troops are going to be terrible for like the next couple years. But the good thing about this is that we have a peace for the British until... When do we have a peace? Until 1483. So, even if we are going bankrupt, the... The uh, English would not be able to capitalize on our bankruptcy. Oh man, that must stink for them. Be oh man, that must stink for them because, like, I'd be so mad if I could not capitalize right now. I mean, seriously, look at this. My entire country is completely crushed under the. Oh shoot, yeah, we have to also start these all over again, too. But, yeah, my entire country is completely crushed underneath, like, their overextension, but yet I still get to live. Oh, wow. Well, uh, just support that. And this is exactly, and that is the reason why I don't like to conquer all of Scotland quickly, people. Is because otherwise they get instantly angry at me and they're like, Ooh, why don't you do this? Ooh, why don't you do that? Ooh. It's like, oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I get it. I get it, Scotland. You, I mean, it's not Scotland. Ireland, I, I won't. I won't be too mean to you because we are bros. Yes. All right. Get that. Mil get that little improve relations. All right. Too many diplomatic relations. Well, after I get some, can I annex you? Yes, I can. It's gonna take me about sixty. Ah. Oh. Shoot. Okay. Well, annex these guys. While well, I'm thinking about it, but. Oh wait, yeah, my troops are completely dead, so... Yeah, we're not exactly gonna be good for like the next couple years in terms of how we're gonna deal with stuff. I mean, literally what I'm going to do is just let rebels just kind of run amok. I, I, I mean, my troops are basically Swiss cheese right now. We basically can't do anything with them. That, like, like literally we lost, we lost against a 3k rebel army and we had better leaders and bigger armies. We basically can't do anything, so we're just going to keep accepting all the demands of the rebels until they finally just go away. It may not be the best strategy that's ever been employed by the history of mankind, but it's the only strategy we have right now. As we slowly try to recover a lot of what we lost. Oh my goodness. But, anyways, I would rather have this situation than be constantly in fear that the British might come and invade me. Because at least with this... I know that I won against the British, okay? That's that's the good part about all this, is I know I won against the British. Okay, and you know I'd rather have that than have anything else. If the Tyronian nationalists succeed, good for them. I'm asking you though. 
You're gonna become my you're gonna become one of my broskies. Alright, get ready for it. Yay! Integration! Yay! I can't wait. You know, it kind of Culture accepted! My king who embraces Irish! Okay, so everyone, we embrace the Irish culture. Yay! Okay. And King Stuart, it would actually be very beneficial to us if you died right now. That sounds really mean and really cruel, cool, but if you was to die right now, we would actually have a better heir on the throne. And you guys go kill the last little bit of that army, and I think we'll be good. Oh my goodness, but yeah. So now we accept... Indeed, glory to us, indeed. A uh, two, come on, kill him, yes. Alright, we just won that battle because of reasons. Ulster is definitely revolting against me, I can't really do much about it. Um, Irish apparently... Why do they hate me? Bankruptcy, legitimacy, negative stability. You know, those are all great reasons to hate me. Okay, now... We're just going to casually try to integrate some of this land into ours. But yeah, we're just going to have to we're just going to have to give it time. Rebellions are just basically going to pop up everywhere and I basically can't do much to stop it. But after we are done with this period of really inconsistent warfare, we should be able to recover. I mean, the British won't declare war on me. I'm fairly certain of that. Tyrone has become free-ish. Alright, manage. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, Bohemian Heretics. I can't really harsh treatment every single one of my provinces, but Tyrone Nationalists, I can accept their demands and just let them casually walk away from trying to kill me. Harsh treatment Irish. And I'm just gonna wait until the Bohemian Heretics become all angry at me, and I'll just casually accept their demands. Yeah. Simple. <laughs> oh my goodness. It may seem... It may... In people, it may seem like I'm playing really dumb right now, and like, you could criticize me for all this different stuff, maybe X, Y, and Z I may be doing. But I honestly don't have many options right now. I'm just... I'm just gonna have to wait until my troops can actually start fighting again. Once my troops can actually start fighting again and not be so blatantly useless, then we could actually start talking about, you know, doing other stuff. And... Besides, I'm already... As long as... Ah! Oh, man, seriously, you got my capital too? Uh, the Fratelli her Heretics. Okay, why are all these heresies just rising up in this country? We have such a peaceful land, why are we, why are we having so many heretics? Ah. Huh. Well, this is definitely gonna be known as the Dark Period of Scotland. I mean, we have like absolutely no one that... Everyone just kinda just does not like us, and the death of a cardinal. So... That means in total we have absolutely positive, let's see, actually, who do I need to go after? Actually, if any of these people right now go into power, eh, Poland, Bohemia, yeah, if any of these people right now go into power, we would still have the, the, uh, the Holy See, which is fine by me. We, we could still have it. I, I'm completely cool with that. Apparently somebody just died. It probably was from somewhere over here. Ouch. And we're just going to sit back, relax, and let everything happen to us. Yeah. And let's see, who disputed thrones right now? Uh, Poland, Matua, Loin, Provence, Hungary, Cleve, Luxembourg, and England. Well, you know, if me and England didn't have such a tense relationship, then maybe? But at the moment... Oh, wow. We, do I literally have to... Hmm. Nah, I think I'm gonna go after this guy. I like this guy a little bit better. Okay. A new cardinal! Shoot, that means Austria's starting to dominate it now. Okay. And Alishair. Wow, you guys are really... The Fraticelli Rebellion is starting to become really annoying, but I can't really do much about it. The thing of unthinkable. You know, that could actually... Oh my goodness. Okay. Give me one month. I think I just need one month. Right? No. Okay. Gonna do that just because that would slightly help us out. In our... France has stopped increasing subsidies. Shoot, France. That was really helping us out. Okay. Um... 
Okay, we're just going to have to slowly start integrating this land very slowly. Ugh, and negative bankruptcy. Yeah, bankruptcy is really going to do that to you. I'm just, I'm just going to have to tank this. Just going to have to tank this. There's not much I can really do. Do I have to repay back much loans? No. I do have some loans. I do basically have an army that's basically destroying me right now. Uh, I'm not going to spend any administration points because we have to start coring more of this area. If we get some more of this area underneath our control and liking us, then maybe we might be able to get more money in. There go getting more stuff in. The Fraticellis have finally conquered the land, so I can finally just accept their demands and let them please go away from my land. Yes. Please go away. And now we have the next heresy group that rose up. The Scalician Heretics. Uh, the heretics exposed that uh, they often must have core of trained soldiers who have been swayed by the heretical beliefs. Good to know. Good to note. I'm glad that there's heresy in my provinces. I mean, it's totally not obvious that I'm in a very precarious situation, but heresy is always good to be dealt with. And stamped out. And Utlet, you finally conquered the province! Good job, Utlet. Yeah. Okay, military tech 6. Hmm. Well, I don't really have to be caring too much about military. We have lost a claim on our province of Oakley. Rats. Well, I'm not exactly fighting for a little bit. The Papal Sea has gained another cardinal up in there. So, let's try gaining this guy right here because he only had 7. In just like a couple of points, we'd be able to fight against him. We have one cardinal in the power right now. That isn't exactly good, and he's young. Oh, he took, they took away my Cardinal. Oh, I feel like, I feel like I just lost somebody important to me. Hmm, okay. Well, it seems like we lost our Cardinal, people. So let's just keep continuing on and let's think about diplomatic alliances. You guys are in a personal union with Trevair. Not, not too big of a, not too big. Hmm. Castile, I'm definitely thinking about as my next BFF. Because we already have a royal marriage. I made sure of that, so Castile and I have a royal marriage. Um, and in terms of disputed successions right now, Riga, England, Poland, Numbland. Ah, uh, they attacked in Numbland. Oh no! No! Not my. No, not my court province! Why did you do it? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, this is what happens, people, sometimes when you go over my infamy. Uh, okay. So, we're just gonna have to wait. We can't really do much about it. Um, the only thing we can do is maybe, like, forcibly make our infamy or our troops as good as they can be. And just keep hitting these troops until they just keep dying. That's our only options right now. Literally, that's our only options. We're just gonna keep sending our troops back and forth until they're just all dead. It sounds like a bad system, but it's the only thing we have to do. Wait for our troops to be able to move. Go. Okay, wait for a second. Combine. Does that help? Combine a little bit. Ah, Damn it. Okay, so now we just basically have to accept the demands, and... England got away with creating one stupid province. Damn. So, continuing on, we just have five more years of this, and then we're done. Okay, if you attack Yorkshire, that's fine. Keep in Yorkshire. Do not go to, do not go to Landshire. Landshire, I am trying to core right now. It is costing me a lot. And let's see, we have taken the loan. Highlands, they have basically become our enemies. Ah. <sighs> Great times we live in, people. Great times. Reduce overextension. I am trying my best, but my country does not want to be peaceful right now. It wants to be as warlike and as crazy as possible. But I'm happy just to sit back and just relax for a little bit. And heretics have again unseized my land. The Pope, the Papal States have regained control of the Papal Sea. That's good to know. Uh, accept the demands. Uh, defect to England. What? No! No! I don't want you to do that! 
No! Wait, wait. Have I accepted a man's controlled by English patriots? Oh, they're just gaining local autonomy. Okay, never mind. I thought they were actually going to defect for a second. Because I'd be really terrible. Really bad. If they defected, I'd be like so crying. I'd be like, no! I went through all this pain and suffering just to do this? No! Alright. We are getting a little bit of loans right now, but there's not much we can really do about it. Again, this is... My life should improve a... The game should improve a lot more once we get through these, like, 10 years. But we just have to get through these 10 years. Also, France has apparently just completely became the blob. I mean, this is a pretty early blobish, but it's already become the blob. It's already establishing its dominance over Spain. Wow. It's moving... The... France is moving really quickly. I mean... Ah, it seems like they already made peace. Wonder what they fought over. Hmm. Actually, did... Did Castilla win? I, I don't believe they did, but... Yay! Another court province! And now we got English as an accepted culture! Huzzah! We got English and Irish as an accepted culture. That means... Even if we conquer all this, they all become instantly accepted. This is joyous news! And now there's only like less than 3.1% of people want to be born in this land. That is great news to have. Okay. Uh, send to Rome. Prestige. Well, our prestige is basically dead, so just do that. And let's just handle them, accept demands. There we go. And one more province, and then we basically got all these provinces cored. And that means it's a highly unlikely to that they will not revolt as much. Because at least by then, now we have a Scottish land that are just nice and calm and definitely ours. And we finally died! Thank goodness! Oh, Arthur the first of the Stuarts has finally taken the throne! Thank goodness! We were having really bad relationships with that. By the way, who's your heir right now? Henry L Lancaster. King Edgar the First of Lancaster. France, you want your your royal marriage back? Guessing you guys don't want your royal marriage back? Yep. Okay. But let's see, is there anyone we can kind of just like maybe inherit through legal means? Let's see, is there anyone well the biggest one I'd probably want is probably Brandenburg. Hmm. Brandenburg has a weak claim. We get on the throne with that weak heir, and we could do some happy, happy, dandy things. And now that I actually have a good, decent, like, king, who's semi-competent in what he does, hopefully he won't die anytime soon, but you never know what happens in the crazy world of the, uh, 1478s. Uh, Columbia. Dang it. Okay. Uh, English patriots are still rising up in our country, but at least at this point, I might be able to curb stomp some of this, like, you know, just, just amount of rebellions that could pop up. Hopefully the rebellions, hopefully the English patriots will just stay in Columbia. I can get Yorkshire done, and then we can have a much better time. I mean... Right now, as I said, I'm just basically trying to see stuff and see what happens, and it's very much a game of political stuff right now. Now, let's see. You guys, this is neutral attitude towards Scotland. Well, thank you, Brandenburg. I'm glad you care very much for the Scottish people over here. We are very much important people. And apparently, Novgorod is going to be eaten up by Muscovy again, like usually what happens in an EU4 game. But it seems like the most... Well, actually, if I think about it, I could not really inherit any of these guys because, uh, I'm actually... Yay! Yes! Alright. Next, we're gonna gain this as a new core province. Okay. Hopefully, these rebellions, when they move, they move over here. So that then that completely quells all rebellion over here and over here. And we just have a nice time because I'm pretty sure in a couple of years, once these guys are all done... They'll basically love us because they'll be like, oh, yeah, you guys are basically us. Yes. Okay. That means Yorkshire is safe, everyone. We will finally go into core Yorkshire. Yay. Okay. That means I finally got four cores. And that means I finally got some Scottish places over here, too. And that means we can finally start working on our economy a little bit. 
And one more year, everyone. One more year of bankruptcy. Oh, come on. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time.